Hello YouTubers, this is Chef Victoria. So I wanted to show you my first garden. This is the first time that I'm attempting to have an uh, indoor and outdoor garden. Um, I'm in Chicago, so it's still kind of cold outside. And um, this is the last week of March 2018. And it's still pretty cold where it's too early to plant anything outside. But I'm starting everything inside. Now, what you're looking at is a pepper plant. I'm not completely sure which pepper plant this is because I lost the label last year. And I've had to repot it. And a few days ago, it, it was some stems sticking up right here. I had uh, winter, winter wise them back, however you say that. Um, I did that last year. And throughout the winter, I would have small little shoots come out, but then they'll die off. So I replanted this last week along with another pepper plant of mine. And I cut off all the stems. I said, you know what? They say on YouTube if you trim them back then that would give the roots um uh that would tell the roots to send out more shoots and i promise you this is thursday the 28th so this i i did that maybe the 26th so two days ago and look at there i've already got some growth going and this was actually on there already but it wasn't that big so i said oh my god they are right. You know, you cut all that stuff off and some new ones will shoot out. I also put some more topsoil. My topsoil has some um, vermin compost in it, some um, worm castings. So I just put that right on top the uh, night before last and watered it in. And man, it's working pretty good. So I, want, I wanted to show you guys the rest of what I've been doing. So these are my basil seedlings um basil 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 and this is a pepper i'm not sure what that little one is right there i think that's rosemary but i'm not really sure what that one is but it's coming up and next to it is another pepper coming up that's a pepper basil basil and these i believe are little rosemaries so what i did with this um i started these i can't remember which date i think it was the second week of march and all these basils was connected together in one little pot and last night i separated them to see if i can actually do it because i never did it before and they are holding up pretty well they look pretty healthy now when i say they was bunched all up together in a pot it was like this See these? That's how I grew them, just like that. Here's the pie, here's another one. And they all together. And I'm doing an experiment for myself. So I'm gonna leave these the way they are. I'm gonna see if they just grow like that and see how big and bunchy those bushes can get and see if it works. And then I have the single ones over there as well. Now, what you're looking at on this side, and this is my front window. Uh, this is a, I have two vanilla plants right here. I also have videos on those and those are my vanillas. One of them feels really, um, I don't know, weak. I want to say weak. I put this snack mamasa on the roots on the stem so maybe it can root out. But look right here, I think I got some growth over here even though the tip is burnt off because i may have had it too close to the heat a few days ago but this one is really strong it feels really good it's really sturdy so i'm just going to keep it moist but not wet and i'm just gonna check on them every day i have two little pods here this is a green pepper this is a bell pepper. I got a BP under it and a GP under it, so I know what it is. Okay, move this out the way. So, we have peppers, rosemary, basil. Um, I don't remember what these are. 
<laughs> I don't remember what those are. Peppers, 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 peppers. And all these are different types of peppers. I don't know what they are. These are, um, these three are cayenne pepper. Okay, I got some succulents right here. I watch uh, this guy on YouTube. I am so sorry. I forgot his name. But anyway, he does peppers. He does a whole lot of peppers. So I just did a succulent thing like he said do and trying to see if that comes up. Um, these are chili peppers. These are cucumbers and these are tomatoes. Chili peppers, cucumbers, tomatoes. You see my cucumbers are starting to come up. I think I got some mold on these. Is that mold? And I just set these in here this morning. Oh, wow. They do have mold on them. Okay, so I don't know what I'm supposed to do with that. I'm going to move it out the way. Um, probably because I set that vanilla tray on top of it. So I'm going to just move it out the way, and I don't know what to do with that. We'll see what happens. I don't know which one this is either. But what I did in the beginning of this, I told y'all this is my first time, right? I didn't fill it all the way up with pods. So, and I was trying to take my time and not do too much. So I labeled them. So if one, four of these or three of these are spearmint. I have rosemary, I have cilantro in here. I have um, uh, basil and oregano. So that could be oregano. I'm not even sure. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. These have not sprouted yet. So I don't know what those are. And then they start moving around. So yeah lesson learned <laughs> okay so that's that i will be back this is cilantro as well but it's not doing anything i had some coriander seeds for years in my cabinet and i knew i can uh, grow cilantro from it i just didn't do it at, for all these years and i said you know what let me just see if i since i'm not using these seeds let me just see if it'll grow uh nothing yet and it's been it's probably been two weeks since I've done this. I think I did this the first week of uh, March, and uh, nothing's happening. Look at my uh, dirt right here. It's hanging on to my pepper. Oh. oh, that was another plant coming up. That's a second plant coming up. Wow. I am kind of getting good to this. Oh, wow. I have some more coming up right there so what I'm gonna do with these peppers I I'm going to transplant those into some containers like these hopefully I won't smash them like I just did these plants uh, they'll be okay so I'm gonna transport them into these containers and um in a few weeks i'll let y'all know how they look once they start growing i get some growth i will update you if anybody has any suggestions or if anybody could tell me how to keep this vanilla alive i really 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 would appreciate it because i'm scared that this vanilla is going to die on me and i really want my vanilla so again this is my first garden Oh, I didn't show you about this pepper plant. I did the same thing with this pepper plant and cut all the wood back. And what's crazy is if you look in there, it's all wood. It's not green. And I'm like, okay, well, maybe that was a good thing. Because look, I got some greenery coming out here and some down here. So cutting those back was really a good thing. And let's just see what happens. What is this over here? These are strawberries. That's not doing anything. This is my first year planting the strawberries, so I'm hoping that they come up. If they don't come up this year, maybe next year. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm missing one. Seven. Okay, I'm missing one. It was an eighth one there, but uh, I think I accidentally moved him. Or he wasn't in there good enough. I don't know. But that's that. So... I will update you guys on my garden. 
one day you're going to look at this garden and say, wow, she's really been growing some stuff. Because I have a few plants around. That's uh, Mother's Tongue. And I want her to get huge. Um, I can't pronounce these flowers. But I have these. Popos, Poconos, or something like that. I don't know. And I have this one. It's called Dragon or something like that. I'm not good with the names of these flowers, plants, and stuff. And I have this baby in my bathroom. So, yeah. All right, you guys. Want to see one, one more thing? Okra. Put the label on there. Okra. This is a basil that I got from the grocery store. And it grew roots. It had a whole lot of roots down here. See it? It's none now because, so what I did was, in this pot, I planted this basil. Maybe a, a week later, the basil was drooping, like, all the way down here. So, and I moved it. I'm like, oh, my God, it's so weak. So, I pulled it out. I cut the roots off, and the leaves start sitting up again. So, I just cleaned it out a little bit and put an okra seed in there and so I'm going to see what happens with that. This is um, a navy bing. I used to do these in grammar school. We put a bing in a cup in a, uh, in a milk carton and sit it in the window and we'll watch it grow. So I just wanted to see what would happen with the, with the bing. Uh, when it gets warm outside, I'm going to put this in another pot and sit it next to my staircase and let it, the staircase be the uh, trellis for it. These are pepper plants, uh, banana peppers. We'll see what happens. There's nothing in there. This was my plant that was on my dining room table, but I got a new plant, so that's up there. All the sticks that I cut off yesterday, I put them in water. See what happens. I doubt it if anything happens. These are succulents that I had bought from Home Depot that were dead. So I took all those uh, leaves off, and I put them in this little tray. And he said just squirt some little water on them and they should have roots coming. So I'm just waiting to see if any of them have some roots. Okay, so that's that. See how empty my living room looks right now? Give me a couple of months. It's going to look like a jungle in here. I can't wait. Thank you all for watching.